All right now, over time, smartphones are getting a, bit, a little bit boring with almost no updates on new units. But a new design could keep many people interested even better when they come with a foldable technology. Here is Kelly Boss with the latest in mobile technology. Well, after years of growth in the smartphone market, phone companies had started running out of ideas. But here is one. We literally fold everything we use on our day-to-day. -day. Why not phones? Well, that's what smartphone companies are doing, and it's starting to make sense. Samsung is uh, the category uh, creator of this uh, flip and fold. We are now in the fifth generation of uh, flip and, uh, and, and fold uh, phones. Um, if you look at the user experience, um, we, we went back to our customers and asked several questions. Why, why, why flip or why fold? And uh, the number one uh, reasons, among of the key reasons, was uh, portability. If you look at the flip, it's very uh, portable, right? Um, and if you look at uh, the fold, actually this is a mini PC. We are advertising it or rather terming it as a mini PC in your pocket. So enhanced uh, usability uh, just to maximize uh, lifestyle. Foldable phones are still new in the market, but it has taken this new tech three years to cover out 5% of the global smartphone market. So what are some of the improved features unique to the foldable phones? For the flip, for example, this is the, your ultimate uh, expression tool. Now we have a front facing uh, screen, which is uh, four times larger than what was there. Actually, this is the best uh, selfie. It will, it will offer the best selfie experience. Um, also, another uh, key concern was the gap. Now we have zero gap between the flip uh, and the fold. So in the future, uh, I, all I can say to our customers is uh, let them look out uh, for, for very uh, advanced innovation uh, within our flip and fold. Well, it's quite interesting to use this phone. It's different from a normal phone. For example, if I'm shooting something for long, I can tilt it like this and use it as a camcorder. And of course, when I'm on a Zoom meeting, I can easily just tilt it like that and attend my Zoom meeting randomly from my desk uh, or a Teams meeting. And of course, there are simple things like when you flap it like that, that sound right there feels really nice. And it's, it's something to go back to maybe 15 years ago. But these phones are still quite pricey. And the reason why they are is because of the hardware that is used to make them. This foldable screen and a hinge that comes with it are the elements that make these phones still maybe quite expensive. But the prices will go down eventually because the more and more people buy the foldable phones, the more the people who make foldable screens and uh, the hinges will scale and that's the only way to reduce prices on the phone. As smartphones grow smarter, they also grow larger and larger. But this new wave of folding phones might just take us back to convenience. So could these phones be the future of the smartphone industry?